Okay, let's go jump the f out of this. Oh, shit, life. Get him, twin. Oh, yes, cat. Slime. Oh, Pete, is that slap? We definitely kissing off of this. So this buff dude's fighting an even buffer buff dude. It's not working out too well for them though, but he's trying. God damn, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A bunch of niggas playing tug of war just to hold this man back. Oh yeah, they did not hold this man. Yup, GG. Oh shit, a shorty did that. Hercules over here tries to swing again. She goddamn grabs him and hits a sumo throw on his ass. Holy! Oh and then this good yeah. It's a crazy arm bar on him. And this is where the bromance is formed between Alex Armstrong and Sig Curtis. They both had one incredibly obvious thing in common. You can just look at them for three seconds and immediately know what it is. Oh my God. They both have extremely small penises. Buffer Buff nigga pops up again trying to get smoked, but they hit him with the Gangatron double uppercut. Immediately followed up by a bromantic combo. <gasps> Toss them into the ceiling. This is beautiful, bro. We, we are... Small penis twins. Beautiful bromance to start the vid, but what's next is even crazier. I'm sick as fuck while making this, but Itadori and Toto are my favorite anime couple ever. I mean, bromance. So how did Itadori and Toto become friends? Well, it all started after Itadori died. The two schools of magic were having their annual which school has the baddest bitches contest. So these cool ass niggas start walking up. Damn, hold on. They Loki got the hose. <laughs> so we meet Toto and all of a sudden the Omega light skin Gojo pops up out of nowhere like, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I got a super duper surprise for you guys. Hey, oh, I go on, it's your boy, them. Surprise, it's the nigga who died last week. Oh, uh, uh, this, this nigga? nigga? Damn, bro, this man is Dory had zero friends. Oh, nigga dude. died, learned the reanimation jutsu from Orochimaru, came back, and these niggas were more impressed by some cotton candy balls. Anyway, so this old ass motherfucker. God damn, look at his noggin. He was hating on Itadori and told everyone from the second school, Hey, yo, fuck the contest. We already know we got the baddest bitches. Just kill that dick face, Itadori, please. Our dog Toto did not like that one bit. He could smell a real nigga from a mile away, and Itadori reeked. Fast forward to the contest, Itadori's running with Poe from Kung Fu Panda. All of a sudden, this nigga Tandori chicken busts out of nowhere, and Itadori doesn't even waste time asking questions. Ran up on dude like, yeah, boom, boom, Everybody dipped. Now it's just these two, and I can already see the bromance forming. This man is glistening. Have y'all ever wanted to lick on someone's abs? Pause. Anyway, shit starts turning up. Dude hit him with a gummo gummo no buff nigga punch, and then sent Itadori flying. Oh no. Had dude thinking his arm got punched off. Nigga blinked and then got greeted with a dress shoot to the fucking face. He starts stomping bro out and he's having so much fun, he starts biting his lip. Hey, you play PS4? Nah, I play Xbox. And now to finish this. Oh shit, that nigga's dead. Oh man. Anyway, where the big titty goth girls at? The mere mention of goth girls just burnt a fire in this nigga Itadori's soul. Dude got right back up. Now, you know what? Pause the video. If you look like Gwen from Total Drama Island, hit my DMs, bro. They open. This is not a joke. <laughs> and Toto was like, <laughs> What kind of woman is your type? Hmm. Me I like a thick chick with a big old booty man can just scuba dive in your heart. Like Lizzo. <gasps> my. My nigga. I love you. We were destined to be best friends like we are. Brother, I do not know you, bro. Anyway, so they get back to squabbling. Dude takes two punches straight to his intestines. Backflip, nigga. All of a sudden, he's Simone fucking Biles. Toto weaved his kick, but dude disappeared. Psych a lot. <laughs> this is where Toto became super sus for Itadori. Dude got punched in the face and he's cheesing. Fast forward a bit and Shorty getting choked out by this I am Groot ass creature and his wooden schlong. So this emo motherfucker over here about to do some shit. But Shorty's like, nah, don't worry about it. Real niggas are coming. Boom, they pull up. And at this point, the bromance is already settled in, bro. They're besties. Toto wants to make sure Itadori is actually worthy of being his boyfriend. So he's gonna have to fight anime Groot by himself until he can land one Falcon Punch. Their bromance level is already at a clean 600,000. But Toto wants to see Itadori cook. So Groot tries to toss a ball of straight dookie at him. He weaves it and then hits it with a three combo, buddy. This was his chance to land his Falco. He messed it up, though. Yo, gang. I can't fight tweak that. Itadori took that shit straight to heart. Locked in so hard, he started drooling. So Groot tried popping out her wood style jutsu, but Itadori was too locked in. Falcon punch! Congrats, gang. You did it. 
Now let's jump this nigga and kiss. The scene gets absolutely turnt. It's all types of Avatar The Last Woodbender going on, and these dudes' romance levels just keep rising. They both start running the swing on Groot, but she just yeets all the wood away. She fully wildly coyote these niggas and is about to stab him with some wood. Nah, she thought. Their romance level is already next level. Twin! Look at them, they dodge it with love. Wow, those two are super duper sus. At this point, the bromance levels are over 1 million, bro. It's time for the real jumping to commence, and it all starts with the blood of Jesus. I said clap if you love Jesus. Clap, oh yeah. Clap, Jesus is gold. I cannot sing for sh Clap if you love Jesus. Clap if you love Jesus. Lord, pray for this one, nigga. I don't think I'll survive this. Clap in the name of the Lord. Clap, pull, clap. Hallelujah, clap! Hallelujah, clap! Hallelujah, clap! Now go on, you two. Beat the devil on that nigga in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Man, I've never seen jumping that beautifully orchestrated in my life. Until these two niggas popped up on the scene. Quite possibly the greatest anime duo of all time. These two have been jumping all types of niggas since they were jits. Back then, Sasuke was getting all the hoes with his goth boy vibe. So Naruto was like, fuck that. If I can't get no hoes, I'ma just get the bros. Their bromance grew to absurd levels through countless battles. For example, this nigga. So Zabuza put Kakashi in a Kuchu water jutsu. And now it's up to Naruto and Sasuke to deal with this nigga. Sasuke tries to fight dude, but he gets embarrassed. And Naruto's over here in the corner just losing his marbles. Oh, hell no, I'm out of here. <gasps> Wait, I can't leave. He finally gets a grip, starts running that dude. Oh, no, he's gonna get packed. I don't think these kids are gonna beat a grown ass man, bro. Speaking of grown ass man, why is this dude sweating so hard against children? Bro hit a devious elbow drop on a little nigga like he was in the WWE. Dude was really about to OD and then fucking stab Sasuke, but Naruto pulls up like 20 deep with his goons. They try to run a football pile up on this dude, but he hits him with some Lego Ninjago fucking spinjutsu attack, bro. Meanwhile, Sasuke got away and that little nigga's been plotting. He pulled out some shanks. So he jumps up and tosses it, but I really don't think a fucking shuriken's gonna stop a ninja of the mist. Oh, wait, hold on. He threw another one. Does this little nigga really think this slow ass shuriken's gonna even do shit to me, bro? Man, let me just weave this shit real quick. <laughs> Who did he, bitch? Huh? The little nigga? We're not sus. We're just in a bromance. And with that, they freed Kakashi. But that was only their first time jumping someone, bro. The craziest jumping from these two was the shit they've been doing in Boruto. So in Boruto, there's this guy, right? This absolute fucking demon. He will swallow your newborn baby and fucking slap your wife, nigga. He is not to be fucked with i think his name's jake or some shit i wasn't paying attention he's going around packing all the ogs of naruto look what he did to my man on black history month then he goes and punishes gara for deciding to get that despicable haircut <gasps> comes out of nowhere shwang embarrasses these two i don't even know who the f they are he even grabbed both naruto and sasuke and starts running their heads through the goddamn ground nah you're bugging if you think they're gonna hold that it's time <laughs> They jump at this nigga with the quickness, but he blocks both of them. They start putting their all into jumping this nigga, but this guy has like anti-jump repellent or some sh I swear. If they animated the fight with Madara like this, they would not get no hate, no slander. So Sasuke pulls out the strap, whips it at dude, and starts raining down hell from the ceiling, bro. Jake is different though. He dodged all that. Wait, hold on. There's one more. No, they ran it back. This time, this nigga strapped up with a Sengon. Wait, no fucking way. They ran it back two times. No way this nigga pulled out the shackles during Black History Month. That's what I'm talking about, Sasuke. Fight the power, bro. It's a bromance. Remember, we're not sus. Straight up and close this man in a boulder. That is cold as hell. Oh, wait, I thought we were done? Nah, this dude called out the hound dog. Then this dude summoned an iron golem that straight up packed Kurama. But remember when I said their sus levels were off the charts? They merged Kurama with the Sasano. And just to make sure everybody knows, they reiterate one more time. We're, we're not, not sus. sus. We're, we're in a bromance. And they just cut that man in half, bro. GG. I was fighting for my life just to upload this video, bro. Uncensored version on Patreon is completely different. Love y'all. Peace. Pizza.